Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are going to be playing some Plague Inc. And this game, you're basically trying to create, in this case we're going to be creating a virus that spreads and basically we want to try and wipe out all life on Earth. And we are going to use the ATP boost gene and I have no other genes so we won't use that gene. Um, we'll play on the normal, we will play on the normal difficulty, and let's call it, yeah, let's call it SARS-CoV-3. So, we want to select a location for this to start. So, we have to think about a few things. One, where would it realistically start? I'm thinking around India, maybe China, I might go for India. If we did something like the United States, they have good healthcare, so it's good to go for a poorer country. Um, yeah. So it we will start it in India and we'll speed up the simulation. So I want to press all these things that come up. So far, you know, we've only got a few cases. It all starts off pretty slowly. Our our goal would be to have transmission occur on planes eventually, allowing for the um, disease to spread. Um, that is the ultimate goal, to get as many people infected as possible. Realistically, a virus wants to infect people without killing them, but unfortunately that is not the aim of the game. We want to wipe out all life on Earth. So the Virus has now evolved to have some vomiting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we want to increase this infectivity and uh, leaf lethality, basically the um, causes of deaths later on. But we want to focus on transmission at this stage. This will allow it for... Um, these two will allow it to transmit on aeroplanes which will lead to transmission to different countries already we've got some transmission in Thailand now so that's interesting um, if we see red planes or red boats then the origin uh, not the origin the origin the, the final location will eventually oh so we're having global spread at the moment so let's slow it down because a lot is going on now. So the United Kingdom has now been infected and they have only got five cases. India has a bunch of cases. Oh, Australia has now gotten a case. It looks like the United States is about to have a case. All right. And now's the point where we want to start to enhance the transmissibility a bit more, but we don't want to we don't want to have um, too much. We don't want to have too much lethality yet. Otherwise, the cure or a vaccine, etc., would start to be worked on already, as you can see. Um, so the prompt that just happened is that the disease has been found, and we already have infected one billion people in a realistic game you know, people would become infected, but since it's a virus, it's going to leave the system after X amount of time. So this is a wee bit inaccurate in some senses. Let's speed it up again. And let's see what other damage we can do. India is the first to instruct a cure. So the cure process is now started. So we've got some spread in Africa, Australia, oh wow. So most countries have now got the virus. A lot of countries I should say, not most. The only country actually that hasn't got it is New Zealand so far. Let's go ahead and... Increase some infectivity. <laughs> uh, 
and let's go ahead and start to make it a bit challenging for us. Let's let's increase some symptoms and severity. Oh, this one's a good one. And that one's a good one. Alright, so let's play it at normal speed and see how this goes. Oh, and there goes New Zealand, guys. Russia. Oh, I may have done it a wee bit early. Because places like Canada do not have any cases. We've already caused 40 million deaths. Um, let's go into the abilities and evolve it to be good in cold weather. And let's allow the cure process to be slowed down. Alright, so let's see how this plays out. So, Mexico, Africa, alright. So, Russia actually doesn't have a great amount of transmission occurring. Okay, so now we've got cases in Canada. Let's, let's increase it. Let's increase the speed. All right, so now they're starting to work on the cure. And now's the point where we want to sort of begin to basically not allow the cures to work, but we want to have a high transmission rate as well. So we increase um, the ways of transmission and we want to increase the lethality at the same time best one to do here would be possibly this that increases transmission as well all right so Russia is leading and look just comment on how we change we allowed some um, extra ways that the virus transmits and all of a sudden Russia is engulfed in cases And there are some locations that literally have no cases, like places like Ukraine, but it's only a matter of, oh, there you go, there you go. It was only a matter of time because it was surrounding, it was surrounding, yeah, place. Pretty interesting how the United States has like no cases. Uh, let's change that. Transmission. Let's go for fleas, because fleas are very common in the United States, I assume. So let's see how that changes things. Already we're seeing a increase in infections a lot. Canada, Canada, why? We need to, we need to focus on that now because that's a location that's going to allow the thing to fail. Hot temperatures and climates. Let's increase the number of mutations. Alright, let's see if that helps. I doubt it. I wouldn't be surprised if we do lose this. Because Canada is pretty safe. They've got like... Oh, cases are increasing. Okay. Okay, so exponential growth is... A certainty, I think. Oh wow. This world is dark. How's New Zealand going? Oh no. I I'm dead, guys. I'm probably dead in New Zealand right now during this pandemic. Let's increase the symptoms so we can increase the lethality. Transmittability is pretty high now, so. We should be good. Canada's actually decreasing in cases again, guys. Oh, shoot. Um, all right. Um, let's devolve a few of these cases. Oh, you can't, you can't devolve everything at once. 
but you can devolve symptoms. Yes, I want to get this one. Let's see what I can do. It's not looking good for a pandemic, although it's rising again, but it sort of decreases. It has these, ooh, Canada's like the only country left as well. So I need to enhance the transibility for that country and it's not looking good. What have we got? Well, yeah, it's ranking one because it's the only country left. I think I may have failed this challenge, guys. Unless... Yeah, no. It looks like it's over Rover. It looks like they may have defeated this disease. Although infection, infections are sort of bouncing around. So I didn't get enough infections in Canada initially. They sort of bounce around. Uh, it's sort of increasing, then decreasing. It's going through seasonalities. I, I'm not sure whether or not it's going to take just time or whether or not Canada is out of the woods. Every other country is fine. Nah, I'm not even sure. It's, it's sort of going up and down. I'm pretty sure it's the pretty... I need to enhance the transmission, that's what I gotta do. So, let's go into transmission. I feel like birds would be a good idea though. Well, let's devolve that. Oh, okay. It actually costs to devolve the virus. That's interesting. Well, in theory, if I was to devolve a whole bunch of symptoms, so less people die, then more people will get infected. Because people have to be alive to get infected. Okay. That's a learning for next time, because it looks like I'm about to run out of time. But we did manage to get a lot of deaths in the game. Like, I don't know how Canada managed to survive. Maybe if I had delayed it. Wait, isn't Greenland? Greenland is still around, yeah. Alright, so I failed the challenge. Kudos to you, Canada. Kudos to you. Huh. <sighs> Well, that was fun. I have failed. Some healthy people survived. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.